Hi everyone, in this short video demo, you will learn how to do UI testing with Angular Storybook and Apply Tools. This is an Angular application that was created using Angular CLI. In this application, we built a custom Angular control value accessor control to allow inline text editing on a page. Let's run the application and see what we have. To run this application, Open a new terminal window, then run this command yarn run start. If you are using npm, on the other hand, you would run npm run start. In my case, I'm using yarn. Yarn run start. Hit enter. Once the application runs, open a browser and navigate to this URL. Great, the application is working. Let's use the inline edit control and type hello apply tools. Perfect, it's working. This application has Storybook installed and configured for you. As you can see, we have the Storybook folder created at the root of the application. Also, we have the Stories folder that is created inside the Source folder. In this Stories folder, usually you put all your Storybook stories. Let's have a look at the single story we have so far. In this story, we give it a name, which is with yellow background. In other words, what we are doing in this story is rendering the content editable comp component with a yellow background, as you can see here from the styles set under the properties. Now let's run the storybook and make sure it loads our story. To run storybook, you need to open a new terminal window and run this command yarn run storybook and if you're using npm you would write npm run storybook so let's hit run automatically storybook would launch in the browser and show you all the stories you have in your project in our case it's only a single story Perfect. We have the story running under Storybook. Great. Now it's time to install Apply Tools Eyes Storybook SDK and run our UI tests. By the way, the Eyes Storybook source code is available at this URL. So if you want, you can go there whenever you want and go through the code and all the readme file they offer. Let's go back to our source code. To install the package, you would run this command. yarn add apply tools eyes-storybook minus d because we are storing it as a dev dependency. Again, if you are using npm, you would write npm install dash dash save dash dev so that you can install this package using npm for now i've already installed the package a while ago so i won't be running it again before you can run i storybook make sure you have properly configured the apply tools api key you can grab an api key from the apply tools test manager dashboard once you have the key, you can assign it to an environment variable that Apply Tools will use while running your tests. Let me show you how you can get an Apply Tools uh, API key. Let's go to applytools.com website. Then you sign in with your own credentials. Once signed in, you locate this icon, click on it, and then you can see this option, my API key. 
Once you click this option, you can copy your API key, go back to your solution and add this API key to an environment variable. It depends whether you are working on a Mac or a Windows. In my case, I'm running this application on a MacBook Pro, so I'm going to show you how to store this API key in an environment variable. You type export apply tools underscore API underscore key equals to whatever API key you have copied from the website. And that's all. So this key will be stored inside the Applitools API key environment variable. If you are on a Windows machine, you only need to replace export with the word set. So set Applitools API key equal to the value of your key. I've already done this before, so I won't need, I don't need to set it again. By the way, Applitools offers many configuration settings you can set when running your tests. You can check the full list of the settings by going to this URL. So as you can see, the Eyes Storybook SDK offers many settings that you can set while running your tests. To configure Apply Tools settings, you can create an Apply Tools config.js file at the root of the application and put all your settings there. Let's open this file that I've already added to this solution and go through it. Basically, you would add an application name, a batch name for your tests, show logs true and false. Usually this is very helpful when you are debugging your tests and you would set this value to be true. Concurrency is the number of test sessions that you would like to run in parallel while Apply Tools is running your UI tests. In this case, I set it to 100. And then the browser, here you can specify the different viewports that you want your stories to be run with. So in this case, uh, each and every line in the browser array represents a single test run. So in this case, we have a specific viewport running with Firefox. In this file, I've added around 50 different viewports running on Firefox and the same viewports running on Chrome. So in total, we have like 100 viewports or 100 tests to be run by Apply Tools. Of course, there are more configuration settings you can play around with. So you've got to visit the uh, the advanced configuration uh, page and see all the settings there. Now let's run our UI tests using the following command npx eyes storybook and hit enter. What this command does is that it reads all the storybook stories in your application, it will use storybook to run them on its behalf. Then for each and every story executed, the iStoryBook SDK would generate a DOM snapshot of the story output. And then once done with all the stories running the 100 test runs we have, it will upload all the DOM snapshots to the server. On the server, for each and every DOM snapshot, the server would generate an image snapshot, compare this image to a baseline if it exists, and then reports the results on the test manager. As you can see, it took only 21 seconds to run a single storybook story with 100 different test runs. Let's switch to the application, to the Apply Tools test manager and see also the results there. So basically this is 
the batch that we have just executed. As you can see, we have 100 tests. On average, it took each test around seven seconds to run. And since we have like concurrency while running the tests, you can see on the terminal that all the 100 tests took only 21 seconds. So if you go to the batch summary view, you would see the results in a different way, saying that we have 100 checkpoints, 100 test runs, with a concurrency of 76 concurrent or parallel sessions. Great. With this test run, AppliTools stores 100 baseline image snapshots for you. Let's see how AppliTools makes use of the baseline snapshots when doing regression testing. So to do so, let's introduce a visual change in our story by changing the background color that is used to render our control. So if you go to the stories file, instead of showing the background as yellow, we're going to show it as blue. Let's save and run the iStoryBook SDK again. To do so, we issue this command, npx eyes storybook. Again, the same thing happens here. The SDK would read all the stories, run them all using storybook, generate a DOM snapshot, uploads all the DOM snapshots to the server. The server would generate the image snapshots compared to the baselines, in this case we do have baselines, and then report the results on the AppliTools Test Manager dashboard. Great. It only took 20 seconds to run this regression testing, and notice the following results. We have a total of 100 differences were found. Amazing. With this regression testing, we were able to find the differences in all of our 100 test runs. Great, let's switch back to the test manager, hit refresh, and let's see this batch of tests. Again, we are running 100 tests, an average of 8 seconds per single test, and you can see we have 100 unresolved steps because we introduced a change that affected the 100 tests we have. If we click on a single test run, let's dig more into this snapshot, you can see that the highlighted area saying that we have a difference in the background between this baseline and this current test run. If we were to see only the baseline image, was this one and then we have the new one and showing them both shows this difference so here it says we have a mismatch so either you accept this new test run which means that the blue background will be the new baseline of your tests or you can reject this change so this is in summary how we can use the iStoryBook SDK to run our tests with Angular, Storybook, and AppliTools. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.